At Emerson Process Management, we've been helping shape the new Thermowell calculation standard. In the next four minutes, we'll explain why this change is important and how you can comply. For over 30 years, Thermowell calculations have been guided by Performance Test Code 19.3. Recently, the American Society for Mechanical Engineers, or ASME, updated the code. The new standard, called PTC 19.3 TW, is the result of decades of work. Emerson Process Management, along with other vendors, users, government agencies and academia, helped ASME develop the new standard. It's important to understand why a new standard was needed. The old standard was very limited in scope and overly simplistic. As a result, the standard was open to interpretation. This is what Emerson Process Management found when comparing our frequency ratio results with those of several other vendors. They all claim to conform to PTC 19.3. You can see significant variance in the results. In addition, more advanced methods such as finite element analysis along with experimental results caused many in the industry to move away from a strict reading of test code 19.3. Clearly, a broader and more reliable standard was needed. So how is the new standard different? There are three key differences. First, the new standard includes stem profiles previously not covered, and more accurate natural frequency equations that reflect the real-world effects resulting from installation. The ideal or theoretical natural frequency is corrected for the effects of adding a sensor and the mounting style. This is important because it lowers the effective natural frequency that is compared to the shedding frequency. Many factors such as beam correction, fluid mass, sensor mass, and mounting compliance are calculated and applied to the natural frequency. Second, the Struhall number, used to calculate the vortex shedding rate, was a set value of 0.22 in the previous standard. The new standard calculates the Struhall number. This allows the thermowell design to be better fitted to the process conditions to minimize error and shorten the response time. Third, the 1974 standard only considered oscillation that is transverse or perpendicular to the flow. The new standard considers perpendicular and inline oscillation. This is important because as a process ramps up, the thermowell goes through the inline vibration resonance first, then the transverse. If the thermowell cannot withstand the inline resonance, it becomes the new limiting factor. Unfortunately, thermowell failures, especially in critical applications, can have dire consequences. One failure in a Japanese nuclear reactor led to a fire and radioactive cleanup. Adopting this industry best practice may prevent process leaks at your facility. In addition, it can help keep your plant and people safe and reduce maintenance downtime. As you proceed with implementing this new standard, remember that PTC 19.3 TW supersedes the old standard and is not meant to be retroactive. The new standard should be applied to a new project a retrofit project, or if you are going to be changing process conditions. Emerson Process Management can help you comply with PTC 19.3 TW. We perform over 35,000 thermowell calculations every year and have the knowledge and tools to help you. If you're early in the planning and design process, look to our free online tool where you can make preliminary calculations. You'll find this tool on our website. Once your design is finalized, our expert calculation team and R21 report can provide a formal evaluation of a thermowell to determine if it is acceptable for process conditions. This service ensures traceability, credibility, documentation and the opportunity to partner with a dedicated consultant team. Now is the time to take steps towards compliance with PTC 19.3 TW. Emerson Process Management has the tools to help. Visit our website to find out more.